Hi, I'm Tim Kelly from Gem Sensors, Product Sales Manager for the Continuous and Conductivity Product Lines. Today I'm here to talk to you about the proper wiring and operation of our Warwick conductivity controllers. I recommend that you download the instruction bulletin before you do any wiring for any of our controls. The board we have is an open board series 16 direct mode unit. The direct mode indicates that it will operate when probes become wet and de-energize when probes are dry. To do this, we bring in our AC power to the two line voltages and we use a series of jumpers to simulate either single level service or differential service. Let's first do single level service. We take our jumper from the ground reference probe connection to our high probe connection. And as I make that contact, the LED came on and the relays energized, simulating that the probe is wet. Probe becomes dry and take that contact off. You notice the LED turns off and the relay de-energizes. Now let's do differential service. Differential service in direct mode indicates that both probes, the low and the high, are wet in the liquid. They de-energize when both probes become dry. Uses for a differential control direct mode would be when you want to pump down a tank, as an example. Let's simulate differential service. We take our jumper wire from our ground reference probe to our low probe connection. As you see, the LED remains off, meaning the relay is in its shelf state or de-energized state. As the water rises to the high probe, simulated by our jumper from the reference point to our high probe connection, you notice the LED turns on, the relay is now energized. As the water recedes, falling off the high probe, you notice that the LED remains lit, signifying that the relay is in its energized state. And it'll remain so until the water falls off the low probe, turning off the LED, relay is now in its de-energized state. This again is a direct mode unit. Should you have an inverse unit, the actions are opposite meaning that the relay is energized when both probes are dry and de-energized when both probes are wet in the differential case. For single level service inverse mode, the relay is energized when the single probe is dry and de-energized when the single probe is wet. Another way to verify the functionality of your product is to monitor the relay status. We've done that here with a light box. We've connected to the common, the normally open with the green wire, and the normally closed side of the relay with the red wire with their corresponding lights. Now in a single level service direct mode, when water hits the high probe, LED comes on, relay is energized, you notice that the lights have changed state. The normally closed contact becomes open, the normally open contact is now closed. When it returns and the high probe now is dry, LED is off, the relay is de-energized, returning the normally open contact to its open state, and the closed contact closes once again. In differential mode, water on the low probe, we're still in the normal case. Water hits the high probe, LED comes on, relays energized. You'll see the green light or normally open light is now energized, meaning the contact is closed. Water comes off the high probe, relay stays on. Water comes off the low probe and we return to its shelf state. Once you've checked your relay for proper functionality, a few other things to consider. The cleanliness of your probes. Is there any buildup of material 
on those, causing a case called bridging, material between two probes or to the reference point. Also, verify that you've wired your probes correctly and then you have nice tight seals and continuity in your wiring. Well, now you know how to wire and verify the operation of your Series 16 board. This process can be simulated on any of the Warwick controls, whether it's an open board style, modular, or even one of our intrinsically safe controls. But again, be sure to read your instruction bulletin for proper wiring. And should you have any questions, on this process or any of our products, please feel free to call GEM Sensors at 1-800-378-1600. Thank you.